What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Stardew Valley, where hopefully today we'll be finishing off... Actually, I don't think we'll finish off the Craft Center. Are we? Are we done with the Craft Center right now? I was going to say, there's no way we're done with the Craft Center. Winter Foraging Bundle comes up next, but... Was it this room over here, maybe, that we had to do the... Maybe it was the storeroom that we got to do the... Quality crops bundle, the spring crops bundle, fall crops bundle. There we go. I knew it was no. I forgot my corn. I thought for some reason cranberries were in there somewhere. Damn it! This is my life. This is my fate. Giant Megadeth fan. I've talked about that on the channel before. Megadeth's probably my favorite band of all time. Megadeth, Blink 182, and then maybe a little bit of Millen Colin in there because I do like Millen Colin a lot too. I gotta give love to the Swedish bands. But, actually, I'm a big fan of Pennywise as well. Although, I think that Pennywise, last time I, it's been a while since I listened to Pennywise music. Pennywise music is like music you flip cars to. It's like dangerous music. It's like music that gets you too amped. You'd be like, uh, -huh. something deep inside of me right now just wants to break shit. I don't know. I feel very, very cheated by the establishment at this moment. I feel very, very cheated. <laughs> Next thing you know, things are on fire and you're getting hit with wood blocks and you're just like ah how did it escalate to this level <laughs> this has gotten so far out of control <laughs> that's why i stopped going to protest protests are always getting out of control oh man i only got the one gold corn i don't want to give up a gold corn for the collection no i got corn right there never mind protests they have this tendency to get out of control around where i live they get a little bit hyped they get a little bit hyped Although that sort of shit seems to be happening more and more and more lately. The more I see, I don't know if it's because the news media is focusing more on negative protesting lately or what it is. But it seems like you see a lot more imagery of just people acting a fool for the cause lately. And I, I don't know. At the end of the day, I don't think that any cause is worth hurting people over. I mean, be throwing bricks and tear gassing people and generally just acting crazy over your differences. It seems like maybe this has spiraled out of control a little too far. But then again, that's the nature of the beast where I live. Things are politically divided and crazy. So. Does it bug people when I don't line up the vegetables right there? What have we got here? Oh, we got a free bee house. Hell yeah. I am accepting of that. I keep expecting this place to like get nicer along the way, and then it just never does. It still just looks trashy in here. We've put so many bundles into this place. Like, we have gone all bundles out on that place, like, non-stop for, like, weeks. And it's still barely hanging in there. Then again, it's got, like, 30 years of decay and refuse to be dealt with, so maybe I'm wrong there. I am going to go back. We're going to store some stuff. We're going to do some late-day adventuring in the hopes that maybe we'll lock down. I'll probably try and go get an Earth Crystal so we can finish off that bundle. And then it might not be a bad idea to finish off the entire... I think the construction bundle is, like, all we have left for one of them, I think. I mean, we could get this done right now so that it's finished so that right when we go into winter, we can just bang this out. I already have crystal fruit from down in the dungeon. I probably have winter root laying around because that dropped off one of the enemies. Don't have the snow yam or the crocus. I don't know what a snow yam is anyways. Is that even like a thing? Does that exist or is it just like a retexture of a normal yam for thematic purposes? I couldn't tell you the truth. I'm not educated with regards to my herbalism. I do wish there was a way to keep these trees. Maybe if I put down roads in between. And then we could have aisles like so. And then they won't drop seedlings in them anymore. So we can walk down each aisle. And just gather up all of the maple stuff that we want. Might work. Might work. Keep an eye. Because at first it was bugging me that all these were growing in the middle. But have I mentioned that I love maple syrup? I feel like I probably should have mentioned that by this point. I like maple syrup a lot, so if you're wondering what's going on with all these trees over here, that would be your doodly answer. I don't want that one there, so we'll get rid of that one. But I think other than that, they look like they're lined up, and this should be... Look at that one lone oak tree over there, though. That one lone oak tree. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do good at harvesting this season. I'll hold on to that one right there so that I can put it on my table and make it part of my display, but I'm going to get rid of the salmon berries. Not going to need the salmon berries. Not going to need the blackberries. 
Not gonna need that. Probably not gonna need that anytime soon. The spice berry can go as well. That can go. Sunflower seeds need to be replanted. It's amazing how much random forageable bullshit I have in my inventory right now. And we'll just keep the bee houses up over here, and they should slowly stock us up with honey too, which is a commodity. Honey was used actually in a lot of cultures as a currency. Like people really, really, really like honey. I'm not a giant honey fan. Like if I couldn't have anything else sweet, I'd be okay with it. By the way, I don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing over here. I may just put in, actually, might be better just to have like a little grove over here. Keep it like that. And so that's our five right there. And then we'll go oak trees next to it, maybe. I mean, this is a reasonably simple thing that I could have done way earlier on in the game to maximize my profits way better, and instead I just didn't do it. And then what we can do is we can chop down that poor oak tree up there. It's going to cost us a lot of materials in terms of, like, wood and other things that we've got to put in here, but I think it'll be alright. Did I accidentally put an extra one right there? I must have. Okay. That looks perfectly fine to me. That looks acceptable in every way. And then what we'll try to do to keep the seeds from spreading too much is we'll either put wooden walkways in between or we'll put stone walkways in between. Whichever train is passing through Stardew Valley. Still haven't checked out the train just yet. I figure we should probably do that at some junction. But for right now, things are looking pretty good for us. So I figure we'll chop a couple boulders here, get a tad more stone so that I can beautify the area a little bit better by covering it with walkways. I'm a sucker for brickwork walk right. Why is there a giant mushroom growing over here? How did I not notice that? What the shit? Oh wow, it just gives you a bunch of red mushrooms? Does that only happen in fall or during like an extended period of it just being like really, really, really rainy? I know mushrooms where I live get to absurd sizes when we have like three, four weeks of rain in a row. They get enormous, like crazy large. I've seen mushrooms as big as my head in all honesty and I'm not even exaggerating right there. Like I had a mushroom one time that I brought home to show my dad. I found it at the park. It was in like this little pine grove area and it was seriously the size, the top of it was the size of a large frisbee. And the stalk of it was like the size of my wrist. It was a big ass mushroom. And don't get mad, it was gonna die anyways once the sun came out. Those things burn up in like one day. And sure enough, the sun came out that afternoon. And so don't be like, oh, you destroyed nature. It was gonna burn up anyways. Don't worry about it. They actually are photophobic. They get sunburned. That's actually what happens to mushrooms. They get sunburns and then they die. I don't know if you've ever watched a mushroom over the course of like two days when it's been in the sun, but it starts to bruise. The sunlight is too strong for it, it can't handle it couple of geodes in there and a frozen geode. I know you can get the upgraded ones. Maybe that's enabled by the fact that you've been down to certain levels of the dungeon. And they just start to drop from there. Any more of these big boulders down here? I'm trying to get my stone supply all nice and leveled out so we can decide how we want to make our farm look. Because I do think there is some merit to spending some time. I haven't done it a lot. I haven't spent a lot of time making the farm look better. And I feel guilty for that. I want it to look like a place that you could go and visit and take like a tour of. Make it nicer. That'd actually be a really, really cool DLC feature or something, or just like a free update, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You can hire like a tour guide and set up tours to go through your farm and stuff like that. Fire, or hire farm hands, expand out a little bit. I'm sure they will. This game has been so insanely lucrative that it would be almost, you'd have to be almost out of your mind not to develop some kind of further content for it Terraria style. I don't know if they'll do it for free like Ter Terraria did. I would be appreciated if they would. I always like getting free mileage out of a game, so, you know. I'm a little bit biased in that regard. I'm like, yeah, work for free for a while. Do that. It seems like a dick thing to say to somebody that does this for a living. But I'm biased, sorry. At least I'm honest about my bias. Red mushrooms are probably useful for something. It's 7 o'clock already? Jesus. I used up all kinds of time today. Used up a mess of time. I forgot to go to the store, too. That was what I was supposed to do. Got to go to the store, and so now I've wasted a day for my harvestables. Ah, well, we'll go tomorrow. Making money. Making, making... Wow, pumpkins are really valuable. Holy shit. And we should just go all out on pumpkins again if we're trying to make money.
15,000 gold to be had. Is that built over there? Is it festival day yet? Fickle Farmer, I just want to remind you that the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. Remember, the fair starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. I will see you there. So tonight, we'll probably want to get those organized for tomorrow. I was getting nervous before big functions like fairs and stuff. I used to have trouble sleeping the day before. I had a friend in college who, like, never slept. Like, we would have, like, field surveys and stuff that would last, like, two weeks, and you'd be hiking five, ten miles a day. Non-stop. And it's all vertical terrain, too. Three-point climbing type stuff over mountains and things of that nature. And he didn't sleep at all. Like, he had, like, an anxiety issue. And so, like, he just would not sleep when we were in the field. And, man, he was looking ragged by the end of those two weeks. He muscled it out, though. Never underestimate what the human body can accomplish if you really want to get it done. There's no such thing as too tired. There's no such thing as no energy. It just comes down to how bad you want it. And I can tell you that emphatically because that's what happens to me all the time here with YouTube. Like, sometimes you got to stay up till 4 or 5 all night to play a new game and just, like, get it out there and create content and do all kinds of, you know, crazy scheduling stuff in order to get things done. You got to want it, though. You got to want it. I'd say that's probably the difference between a lot of the, like, I'm not even that successful of a YouTuber. Like, so take this with a grain of salt. I'm like, meh. I'm like maybe top 20 percentile maybe for YouTubers. Maybe. Possibly. And I think even that might be giving me too much credit. However, that being said, the difference between the ones that make it super far and me are that they just, they're willing to put more into it. Whereas me, I just kind of enjoy the simple little operation that I have right now. I don't want to make it any more stressful or any more difficult. I just want to do what I do every day and... If people want to hang out for a little while, I'm okay with that. I'm going to need that. Let's go ahead and organize our fruits a little bit. I'm going to have to go and order new crops pretty soon, but I'll probably just get pumpkin seeds. Those pumpkins were crazy lucrative. So we have golden corn. I'll probably sell all that off. Keep that just in case somebody needs it from request or something. Sell that off now that we've done the package. The potato we're not going to need. The aubergine we're not going to need. Plum, that looks good. Not going to need that either. Just one thing at a time. Clearing out my inventory so that the stuff we have is like the creme de la creme of our farming experience. Got a lot of geos to bust too. I should probably, should probably shell out for that at some point. I don't need those at all though. I wonder if I can use that inside the dungeon to warp out. Might be helpful. All right, so our food supply here. Let's get this banged out. We're going to be trying to take as many gold star items into this harvest as we can. And we're also going to take a lot of geological stuff if we can make it work. Uh, I've got lots of treasures and gems and things of that nature that are gold quality or better. I should probably Google what a Grange Festival is before I go, though, because if there are certain items that you're not allowed to stock, we're basically going to have to dig a little bit deeper here and come up with some better ideas. In fact, let me do that real fast. Okay, so the designation of Grange Display doesn't really seem to matter. You can bring, like, whatever you want. It just seems... i That's all I wanted to check is, can I bring whatever I want? Because normally they lock you in. Once you're in the area, you can no longer leave. And so what we'll want to do is we'll want to bring a bunch of random stuff, and that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably just go through and pilfer through my gold items. And we'll just bring whatever we have laying around. I've, I've got plenty of gold items here, so... I'm figuring if we have a pretty good... I don't know if I have like nine of them. I may be a little bit low for nine, but... We'll make it work. We'll fill in the rest with adventuring supplies and kind of teardrops and... Well, we don't really have that either. I guess I'll bring diamonds. I'll bring... Maybe I should break these open just to find out real fast. Let's take our geodes over... And we'll break those open just so we can have some extra stuff. I, I'll i bring an emerald and, you know, I'll, I'll throw some random things on there. I'll throw some random things on there and we'll just hope for the best. We have some pretty high quality items, so I'm hoping we should be able to do pretty well in the contest. The only thing that I know about it is they said you can't stock the same item multiple times, or if you can, then... I looked at the grading criteria, a little bit of a cheat right there, but I just wanted to know, because in a real contest like this, they would have a list of guidelines that they would send out to all participants before the thing, so that everybody knows that they're being judged by the exact same criteria. So it seems like you don't want to put multiples in of the same item, it seems like you don't want to put, you know, this, that, or the other in. I'm sure we'll be fine. We won't have a repeat of the issue that happened over it. And then pumpkin seeds. I think that's all I'm going to grow from now on, is pumpkin seeds. I was hoping we get 
like a flower spawn or something before anything else went down. I don't know if I have anything to give to you right now. Would you like this apple? Thank you. She likes the apples, so perfect. It got it out of my inventory, too, which is the double special part. I gotta go check on my chickens after this, too. I haven't checked on them in a while. We gotta go to Marnie's store, and we gotta buy a heater, too, before we get to winter. Otherwise, we'll end up with frozen chicken. And while frozen chicken is great for later consumption, it's not so good for egg production. The act of being frozen seems to make them a little bit lazy in that regard. Okay, so we got a fire quartz. I don't know what the hell that is. A lemon stone. That looks like it's a Bixite. Not familiar with that one. These geodes, I'm not going to hold out a lot of hope that we're going to get anything awesome from them. But we might get some of the little things that we missed. Oh, we got a Malachite. That's pretty cool. Got one of those copper sulfides, I think. Pretty sure it's a copper sulfide anyways. And that's a pyrite. I think we already had the pyrite. And it looks like we didn't get anything of superior quality in here. I was hoping we get something of gold quality or better. It's okay, though. Let's donate. We got a few more things to add to the list here. Fire quartz can obviously go in with the collection. It looks like I didn't put my Tamagotchi poo anywhere, so go figure. And so there it is. A few more things donated. We do have the treasure trove. Let's get cashed out here. We got ourselves a rare crow. Oh, cool. That was the 8 of 8 rare crow. I think you can buy one at each festival, but I'm always strapped for cash, so I figured I'd get them next year. By the way, I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. I, I plan on this one being a very, very long one. I don't plan on giving this up anytime. There may be times where it waxes and wanes once we get to, like, the 60th episode, the 50th episode, and stuff like that, where I may go a day or two without uploading it just to make room for other shinier things. But that being said, I absolutely, definitely want this to be one of those games that we push through to the end for. That Scarecrow, looks like he's got things to say. He's got things to express. Did it reset my gifts for the week? It did. We might be able to get four heart penny this week if I really apply myself and I try super hard. However, meh, I don't know, a bit of a lazy day for me. I'm gonna go to the doctor's office and they made me drink some shit. It was weird. It was weird stuff. That made, I don't know what they made me drink. Honestly, the doctor couldn't tell me. I'm a little suspicious right now. Little suspicious. You go in your doctor's office like, hey, drink this. I'm like, uh, what is it? Don't worry about it. Just drink it. It'll be fine. <laughs> so he does... Does the rare crow actually act like a scarecrow? Or is it... I think our harvest is still... Waiting. Hanging around. Instead, what I'll probably try and do is I need to fill in this space right here so that no more... No more nuts drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, and then we're going to... Cobblestone up. And if you don't like cobblestone, sorry. I love cobblestone. Cobblestone is the best. I use it for everything in video games. When I'm, like, tailor-making my houses and stuff. I like stonework way better than woodwork. So we'll drop those in right there. That should keep the seeds from falling on the ground. And causing us issues, I think. And then I'll need to go through like this. Exactly. So this doesn't happen right here. Is what I'm trying to avoid. I want this to stay nice and clean and organized. I don't want it to look all weird. I was going to say, I felt like I put in an extra one right there. Nobody's going to be able to see it anyways. But wouldn't you know it. I bet they drop a mod where you can rotate the map or something right after I don't fix that. Good. So that should be a little bit more acceptable. Yeah. That'll look stronger. And then what we can do is... Well, I was going to put in walls around it too so that everything's cordoned off from one another and it looks all nice and organized. We'll worry about that a little bit later. I don't think it's something that i got to spend a ton of time on right now. Probably throw the rare crow in there for the minute. I can't think of anything else that I want to do with it. we got a thunder egg. I don't know what to do with a thunder egg. Probably throw that back inside my adventuring kit is probably what I'll do with it. Yep. Harvesting should be done for the day. Our only hope in acing this thing lies with perhaps we will get an awesome harvest. 
before here and there where we get a couple more gold quality items, but we may have to go in with silver. We may have to go in with silver. We have to be lacking. We might have to be lacking, but we definitely won't be packing. Don't do that at the farmer's market. That might make you unwelcome. Be scaring people. Run around with gats. Being like, who tried to steal my pumpkin? Bat bat. Ready to die for the cause of pumpkin protection. Cool. Looks good to me. We'll have to water those in the center in just a minute. We got a little bit of extra space on this side. Nice. Why did this... Hmm. Okay, then. Apparently that decided, or that side decided it shall not be hoed any further. It shall not, ex I guess, accept our hoery. There we go, that works. Woohoo, eggies everywhere. Yes, please. Take these back on up to the mayo machine. Apparently you can get, like, gold star mayos. We've never seen one, I don't think. I don't think we've had a single gold star mayo. You can also get, like, gold star just about anything, I suppose, but I haven't seen it. Let's take a trip down to the dungeon real fast, I think. Yeah, that'll sound good. I want to adventure for the rest of the day. See what other rando gold star shit we can pick up along the way. I'm going to bring those just in case I need energy later on. Because we may be hustling a little bit harder than I want to hustle. Throw the coal in there. Oh, we also needed more coal, so this would actually be a smart thing to do, too. We're going to need a few more tappers. That's okay. I think we're going to spend a lot of copper and a ton of wood on tappers, but once we get it done, it should be pretty beneficial to us. Hazelnut. That's a pretty big hazelnut. That is true. That is a big hazelnut. It's as big as his head. That's an enormous hazelnut. That is a hazelnut of serious quality. That is the hazelnut by which all other hazelnuts are judged. Like when that hazelnut comes around, you'd be like, I have no doubt that this hazelnut is my superior. Want a hazelnut? No, don't eat it. Here, take that. That was very thoughtful of you. I'm giving him discount gifts because I don't really care. He's just kind of like along the way. I wasn't going out and looking for him. Go down to floor 85. Leave no monster left alive. I'm going to stab him in his face. Gonna stab him all over the place. Nah, I do need more stone, so let's bust up some of that stuff. I have, that thing is creepy as hell, and I don't know what it is, but it's gotta go. It's scary, and I don't want to look at it anymore, so it's gotta die. Wow, that little bastard just powerhouses straight on through. He doesn't even give a damn. Well, I'm coming for you. We already got our ladder, so I don't know why I'm messing around here. Couple of seeds, sounds good to me. Red mushroom, little bit of quartz. Kinda lackluster considering what I'm looking for down here. Oh, another diamond though. That was the parry right there. That was on some drizz level stuff. I'm actually only fighting these because I want the ladder to open up. That's like all that I can... Wow, our health is going down really rapidly. That is an unfortunate toll that our health is taking here. Dungeon's starting to get dangerous. Dungeon start... It was always dangerous. I mean, at any moment, you're at risk for one of those bad attacks. And those things will put you away with a quickness. I like how it throws little sparks off of him when you hit him. It's kind of cool. He's got a helmet. What it's made out of. Probably iron. I don't know. Maybe he mined it himself. I'm not judgmental about this kind of stuff. Please stop, slime. I'm trying to find... There we go. Oh, shit. This area is infested. What does that mean? Does it mean we get diseases or something? Ah. On the plus side, lots of slimes to be slayed, and as I understand it, we level up okay from swinging our sword, and so I'm going to stick to it for right now. Also gives us a pretty good chance to find the exit door, which I'm okay with. Oh, he's mad now. Got them glowy eyes. My mom used to get those eyes right there when you would like, like your toys in the middle of the floor, like when you touch the walls. We weren't allowed to touch the walls in our house because my mom said it got them grimy. 
And so, like, if you got, like, caught touching the walls, I don't know. You might catch a whipping. I don't know. Maybe. Depending on what kind of mood she was in that day, I think. My house was like a museum when I was a kid. Like, for real. We weren't allowed to touch anything. Our house didn't look lived in. It looked like one of those curated houses that they show you when you're, like, in a real estate development area. One of those model homes, I guess. Oh, wow. I got carried away in the moment. It looks like we're... Ooh, Dwarf Scroll 3. Did we have that one? I can't remember if we had that one. Make sure there's no ladder right there. We may actually have to clear this entire floor before it gives us a ladder. I don't know. It might be one of those special... I've seen some rooms sometimes that seem to have special criteria for letting you get to the next area. Doesn't happen very often. Oh my god, the combos! Getting comboed on so hard right now. We got a Dwarf Scroll 3. Another one. Gonna be good for vendoring, if nothing else. Got an amethyst right there of normal quality. Probably eat another algae to keep my health up. And then probably eat some blackberries to keep my health up too. Just in case we get a swarm anytime soon, because I don't want to die! Actually, it looks like we're out of time. Weirdly enough, getting caught up in the moment. And then I forgot that we were even out of time because I wasn't paying attention. And we got another emerald, too. Cool. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. I will see you in future episodes. It'll be a blast. I can virtually promise you that. If only for the reason that we might be playing around with explosives. Hi to everybody, and I will see you all there. Bye.